Hi everyone! Uh, today I'm going to talk to you about um, how I animate. Um, I'm working on a project at the moment. It's a children's book written by Julie J. Fox called uh, Lily the Quarantine Cat. This book is about a cute cat who during um, lockdown had very interesting adventures. So I recommend uh, to read this book um, and um, please take a look at uh, how I animate it. So the illustrations were not done by me this time. The author gave me illustrations and asked if I could make the, them into a moving image. Uh, so um, I'm very excited because that's quite a long uh, project to make. Uh, usually I was making shorter animations or turning illustrations into animations, but this time I'm um, making the whole animated book. So usually, um, uh, as you see, I um, imported some images which I had to prepare first uh, because the, the book was in a different format. So I had to change the sizes and reorder the images, um, cut them into different layers and create format that's going to fit into uh, Animation HD. After uh, having done so in Photoshop, I imported uh, my images to uh, After Effects. Usually the way I start is by creating parent links. So for every uh, item, for example, for this cat, I had to create parent links between a cat's body, uh, her tail, her paws and head. Uh, this helps me to move the cat around uh, on the screen as I animate. If I didn't do that, <laughs> all elements would be separated. So if I moved cat's body, uh, her head would be somewhere else and it wouldn't move together with the body. Uh, so that's why I do it. Um, and then I, um, I animate. I looked at some cat movements and how the tails move and just use plenty of reference. Uh, but also I wanted to create um, a very specific style because the story is quite gentle and the cat is very gentle so I didn't really want to make very uh, sharp and sudden movements. Everything should be very flowy and gentle and I hope that I'm uh, achieving this effect. You will see later in the story that I'm trying to keep the same uh, style of uh, slower, delicate animation throughout. Looking at some uh, fonts, which were also part of uh, illustration in the book, I wanted to, to create a movement because later on uh, I will be adding sound effects, so I want to synchronize them with those font movements. I will have to uh, import some, some sounds, but I won't be including this in this video, but still you can see uh, the finished animation uh, later, when when I finish this project, I'm going to upload uh, the animation and send the link below this video. So please uh, pop in uh, in a couple of weeks' time to see the finished uh, animation. For this video, I chose a few easy scenes, because otherwise the, <laughs> the video would take uh, a couple of hours because uh, some scenes were really complex to animate. So I chose the one which have the fewest elements and it's also easier to um, show all the layers which uh, within them also have some other layers like when I create puppet tool. You see here on this video um, when the boy is moving his hand I again created few layers of the boy's body and then within each layer I created puppet tool to be able to uh, to move the image. Because like I said, uh, I didn't create the illustrations myself. I had uh, ready, ready illustrations which were flat images. I had to create all the layers myself, which was uh, a bit difficult because my style of illustrating is different. So I had to redraw some bits in order to, to match with this style. In this scene with the car, 
the illustration was um, vertical and because it was quite long I had to change it a bit uh, the way Ira drew it the road was uh, wider and the pedestrian crossing was longer uh, so in order to fit it into the animation format I had to uh, cut um, some of uh, the road and expand it so it is more horizontal rather than vertical uh, another thing I had to add was the car because in original book the car illustration is not there but I thought um, for this particular scene it would look nice when Lily crosses the road to have her stop before the car passing by so I tried to match the original style and uh, draw the car to fit in the animation again for the animation purpose I had to create the parent links so all parts of the car uh, are moving together when I animate it uh, and also creating a little smoke cloud coming out uh, when the car is moving so I drew I drew the smoke cloud and animated it um, create uh, multiple layers as you see and um, just make this this motion uh, effect and hopefully uh, you will like the finished effect if you like uh, my animations and uh, my channel uh, please subscribe for uh, more videos because I try to add regularly some new videos be it digital paintings or uh, animations I will try to make uh, some more explanation videos like this one but uh, I would love to hear some of uh, your comments thank you so much for watching and please feel free to comment with your feedback uh, and if you have uh, a book which you would like animated or uh, if you would like a trailer for your book uh, or for promotional purposes then uh, please visit also my Facebook page uh, Artistic Soul 11 and you can contact me uh, there or just comment uh, below the video and uh, I will get back to you so thanks very much again and uh, have a lovely day everyone my favorite activity however is pet and purr time well the children pet me and I purr I love spending time with children at school they are my best friends and they always have the yummiest treats for me in their pockets every afternoon when school is over and the children go home so do I I live in Red House Cottage right across the road from the school